You seem cool. Terry, you seem cool. How you doing, buddy? I'm good, man. How are you? I am great. Thank you so much for joining me. Here, here's what I, I love about you. Okay, you have relatable content that's fun and funny. <laughs> um, and the Amazon delivery uh, uh, packages <laughs> is literally my life with my wife. Damn. 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 I mean, the dad joke life, I live, I, I'm, you know, I'm a comedian by nature, but I'm also a father. So I, I'm always hit with the dad joke comedy and uh, you've got some of the best stuff out there. And I just love how like fun and simple and happy, like the, those little videos make me. And I just want to let you know that I always share them with my wife. I went down like a rabbit nice. hole with you a couple of times where I was just dad joke, dad joke. And they just, they're just so fun. So uh, thanks so much for your content, bringing smiles to my life. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Um, so you're known for your, for your dad joke stuff. Of course, questions for you. Couple, where do you get your dad joke stuff from? Honestly, I get my dad jokes from the internet. Okay, <laughs> like, great, great. Like, yeah. People great. think that I'd be making them up. I'm like, no, no, no. First of all, uh, there's this thing called Google. Um, and then, uh, I also sometimes like pick them up from, uh, from like, yeah, from like other websites or whatnot. So gotcha. that's where I get them from. Gotcha. It's great. But here's the thing about the dad joke, because you've perfected something with the dad joke. We were talking about this earlier with a couple of my friends and the dad joke is all about delivery, right? A dad joke, a dad joke's bad. They're bad jokes, right? That's the whole idea behind them, but it's all about the delivery. Yeah. But you have taken out, you've made it such a science. You've taken out the delivery of it. You do your little dance and you hit it. And then that's like the wall is doing all the work. Like <laughs> You don't have to worry about it. See me as a comedian, I have to get out there and, and use my gift again, but you've got the dance move. So, <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, I was I was starting off I started off with like uh there's there's this thing going around um something sort of like with the doing like this or whatever and it had that song on it but it, it was saying that the the title was if somebody sends you this you have a big ass forehead so <laughs> I was like I was like okay how can I how can I switch this up a little bit so you know just for, just you know just for shits and giggles or whatever I just kind of like. You know, I saw this COVID-19 uh, dad joke and I was like, okay, I'm going to use this and I'm going to do the nay nay and I'm going to hit the whip with it at the end. <laughs> I did not, I, I, I tell you, I, I'm telling you, I did not expect it to be, uh, to be that big. I did, it got like, I think it got like to like a million follow, a, a million views and like a, a million likes within like, I think like within a week or so. I didn't expect it. Yeah. So I was like, I might be on to something. <laughs> so I did the second one. I did the second one, and then again, it just popped off. So I was like, "That's it, yep, right there. I'm it. on it. <laughs> it I'm is, on it." It's fan. It's fantastic. And there's so many things I love about it. But so you basically invented a trend, right? Like, which was really cool. You took some. What I love about TikTok, you see something in the community. It's all very, you know, people love, and then people expand on things, right? Yeah. So exactly, that yeah. song you saw with a different, because the song is perfect. But you saw that song with a different trend. It wasn't a. It wasn't a joke. So you decided to marry the dad joke in that song, right? Basically, yeah, because yeah. the because there's a because people say this, but there's a when you know when Vine was hot, there was a video of these guys. Uh, there was a guy playing a piano, and then the, there's this one dude. He just came through and started dancing, and then he started doing the nay nay like really crazy. So I was like, that would be cool to like add that into it. So like I don't know if you see, but sometimes people would comment and say, if you were on Vine, you know where this originated from. So the the actual song originated from Vine. Oh wow, okay. That's just crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. You, it's, it's, you, a lot of, it's a lot. There's a lot of, there's there's a lot lot of, of backstory to a lot of it. Well, yeah. here's something else. When something gets, when something hits and something's famous, everybody wants to take credit for it. We all know that. So, right. but uh, I, I, the, the other thing I love that you do is your positioning inside the frame and your framing of stuff. Like, <laughs> like there's one where I think somebody's laying in bed and you just come, you're like deep in the frame and they're just laying there looking at you. So my question is, do, do you surprise people with this or do they know that it's about to so, happen? The one you're talking, that's my wife. My okay. wife is <laughs> laying in bed. So I started off with uh, with doing it in the kitchen because I guess that, you know, when you, when you do something consistently, you want to keep the same frame. Yep. So when I did it in the kitchen, I was like, okay, that's a, this is all right, cool. So then all of a sudden I just see my wife laying in bed and I was like, 
Just gonna <laughs> take the camera set up a little bit right there. And then I was like, I'm, I was like, I don't know how this is gonna play out, but whatever. So I started doing it, and then everybody was like, okay, you switched up the scenery. So I was like, okay. So I so I started to like switch up the scenery to where I will keep it in the kitchen. And then I would I would flip it around to it being by the fridge, mm -hmm. or you know mm -hmm. I, I I just wanted to expand more. So I, there's one where I did it in front of uh, you know I'm from Chicago, so I did it in front in front of the bean. Yeah. So like yeah. while it was snowing. So yeah. you know I just like to switch it up here and there, just like I randomly mean, as hell. It, it, it's such a great element to it, and our, and, and as as a guy who loves putting out content and content to be proud of, kudos to you. This is super. This is something that's so great and on so many levels. And I really appreciate you and all the hard work you do, and for your wife for putting up with you, which is <laughs> being married as myself. I, I don't know if you saw that. I did. I did one where uh, it was to the thank you be, for being a friend remix one, where my wife was like, <laughs> Oh yeah, it, it, yeah, oh, so, yeah oh, that oh, one. Yeah. <laughs> so I was my, my wife. I just followed my wife all day. I just. <laughs> And she's on TikTok and she loves TikTok. She actually introduced me to it. And now I use it against her. And she's like, could you leave me alone? You didn't even like this thing a year ago. <laughs> so exactly, I know exactly. they, yeah. they, they that's, put that's up That's the thing us. about TikTok. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> the great thing about TikTok. We were sitting back like, no, nah, this is all boring. But all of a sudden we got like a huge ass following. And it's like, yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened. Like, I, <laughs> it's, it's, it, it just happened. Out, so you put out, you put out good content and you spread love and positively, you, you know, make people laugh. And that's a really in, really important right now. So you have a little bit of it. Uh, you have, a, you're a man of many talents, right? So mm -hmm. you, 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 I saw somewhere that you were a backup dancer for LL Cool J. Is that correct? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, <laughs> so I, um, so I, so I, there's a lot of things. He speaks us, everyone. He speaks us. Hold on. Give, <laughs> give a second. Give a second, y'all. <laughs> so I, um, so yeah, I'm a professional uh, hip hop dancer. Um, so I try to, a lot of people always ask me, oh, you should do more dances. And my thing is, you know, there's certain, there's certain, with certain content comes certain crowds. So my thing is not the da the dances thing. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I could do the dancing and stuff like that, but it won't pop off as much as a lot of people do. So I'll, so I'll stick to the content and the, the crowd that, you know, I normally do, but yeah, um, back like. A couple of years ago, I did uh, I back up I did a backup dancing uh, situation for um, LL Cool J at a Lollapalooza, and let me say something, man. That guy, that guy is massive. Like he's and one of the, he's literally one of the coolest people. Like you would think that being a celebrity and an OG that he is, you know, he would right. come off as cocky, or whatever. No, the guy came in and he was just straight up like, "What's up, y'all?" And you know this and that, and you know he was asking us like, "Okay, so on this part, should I?" And, you know, it was like. You LL Cool J, why you booking for the same time? It was cool. It was cool as hell for him to like, you know what I'm saying, be acceptive to, you know, bl us blending in with whatever he wants to do. So yeah, no, he's a cool, cool guy, man. It was it was it was one of the like one of my the greatest experiences I've ever had. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I bumped into him once because he was uh we were on a sh a, a talk show and he was the other guest. So it was like in the hallway kind of deal. And we had a quick hello and he was super cool. And I'm, you know, fan of him and he's just awesome. So it was great. But then we, when we did, I love that he's collaborative like that with his backup dancers, because there's certain ways that people at, that are entertainers like that work with their dancers. And in right. our movie, we had uh, Paul Abdul was in our movie. I don't know if you mm. saw the Impractical Jokers movie. Paul Abdul was in it. And she, there's a scene where she has backup dancers and she like spent the day with them of like making it together. And it just right. felt so cool. Cause that, what an experience that is for like people like you that look up to, you know, these performers and stuff to feel like you're working with them and not for them. I think that is super cool and speaks a lot to people's character. Exactly. It speaks a lot. It speaks a lot about their character. Cause you hear, you hear a lot of stuff on social media about how a certain person or certain celebrity is an asshole and all this other stuff. But then when you actually meet them and get to know them, they are like normal people. They're yeah. like cool as hell. Yeah. You know, well, that's, so what, that's was, why I wanted really to, great. that's why I wanted to talk to you because I heard you've been talking shit about me. So I just wanted to make sure you knew that I was cool too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not going to lie. I, I'm, I'm going to tell you something right now, Joe. Tell me, hit so, me straight. <laughs> I'm going to get you straight. I'm going to hit you straight up. So I saw you comment on my video. I okay. saw you couple. I, I saw you comment on a couple of my videos, and um, I I clicked I clicked on your profile, and I, I saw you had a blue check mark. I was like, okay, so this guy must be you know important. So I clicked on your profile. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like this Joe. I'm like, why does his name sound familiar? I was like, oh, I'm practicing Joe. I was like, okay. So I went back to my home and I was like, hey, um, because I remember she used to. Uh, one of the things we used to do is before we, before we go to sleep, she would like put on a practical jokers or whatever, and um. I went back, I was like, hey, is 
this Joe guy, is he it from impression? Like, yeah, why? I was like, no biggie. <laughs> and then I turned around and was like, I t- Ooh, so, no, no, no. so when I tell you, bro, when I tell you, I, when I tell you she gave me the confirmation that that was you, I was like, no, no biggie. You don't worry about it. I, <laughs> you couldn't tell me nothing. You can't, you couldn't tell me oh. nothing. I'm like, if this man thinks I'm funny, you can't tell me nothing. You can tell me how much my content sucks, but the fact that I got Mr. Joe, the oh, comedian, man. bro, cut it out. Stop. I appreciate that. That's great, man. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that's what I really like about TikTok. It reminds me actually, because the community of it, like you don't get that with Twitter. You don't get it with Instagram. It's all right. very, but with TikTok, I love it. It reminds me of old school. Like I'm old. So I'm, I'm 40, you know, 45. So at the end, end of the day, I like MySpace had that same yeah. sense of like kind of community for me. Yeah. And I feel like TikTok has really captured that. So I really enjoy yeah. just like popping in. I like, I watch people's content. And if I, if it makes me laugh, man, I like, I like letting people know. And you, exactly, you, do, you do great stuff. I really, I really like it. So I just have a couple, uh, I have, I gotten this for Father's Day a couple years ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, this It's called dad jokes from a word teasers thing. And I picked out a couple of my favorites and I just want to throw some at you, but I don't have the dance with, so I'm working on my delivery to make sure I do this right. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. What's orange and sounds like a parrot. What's orange and sounds like a parrot. What? A carrot. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. See, that's it. That's a good one. That was, that was, that's actually, I should have probably started my best it's one. It's the quick woe for me. Like, <laughs> I have I have two dad jokes that I always uh, there's one dad joke that all me and the boys from the Impractical Jokers always say whenever somebody says uh, what time is it and the answer is two thirty and we're like oh time to go to the dentist like two thirty two thirty yeah so that, and it's like the worst bad joke and, and now everybody on all sixty people that work on the show make that bad joke at two thirty if somebody asks what time it is but my my favorite bad dad joke I'll tell you this uh, this one was uh, I don't even know where I picked it up but I picked it up years ago and it was. Uh, Two peanuts were walking in the park. One was assaulted. One was assaulted. Yeah, see, it's a thinker. It's a thinker. I didn't throw If I threw this, you would have got it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you know what's funny about these dad jokes, bro? It lit- It won't make you die of laughter. It'll literally, like, have you, like, you know yes. what? <laughs> yeah, the, the nod is as good as a laugh. The nod is, like, exactly. it's an approval, yeah. So... Yeah, for sure. You talked you talked about being able to do it in front of the bean and, and whatnot. If you could go anywhere and do one of your dad joke uh, TikToks, where what would be the perfect backdrop for you? What would be the perfect backdrop, man? Oh man, what, what is anywhere right anywhere now? anywhere in the world? You could travel anywhere, but you're only able to come out do your dad joke thing, and you got to go. What's what's behind you? What's what's a nice big scene that you want behind you? Man, what nice scene would I want behind me? Um, you know what? <laughs> it, I it, it, I don't know why, but this is coming to my head. But the pyramid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. The, it's the perfect. pyramid. It's perfect. The pyramid would be a perfect random ass backdrop. Because right. it's like, wait, dude. <laughs> why is he there? <laughs> why aren't you like in America? Like in Chicago? Yeah. How'd you get it's from great. Chicago to the pyramid? Like, yeah. Where yeah, where is it? Have you ever been to Egypt? Never been to Egypt. All right, so we gotta get you to Egypt to do pyramids. I'm working on it now. I'll talk to my people. I'll totally uh, let, let me make an. I'm making a note. I'm making a note to get you to Egypt. We'll, we'll see what we could do. Okay. Sounds good, man. Good. I, it was so nice, and and uh, you have validated for me, Terry. You seem cool. You definitely are a cool guy, and I really appreciate the time uh, to talk with you today. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me.